welcome to School for the Fool. Today in class, special reading. Full moon in Gemini. I would love it if you'd meet me at my desk. I would love it if you would meet me at my desk. Apparently I have an accent today. Wow, must be that split personality. The twins. Let's go. Welcome to the full moon in Gemini reading. When I was getting everything ready for this reading, I was shuffling. This card flew out. And I was like, no way. That is so cool. Because I don't believe in accidents, I want to read it. I want to read it because why not read it? See what the full moon in Gemini has to say. Officially. Currently, the full moon isn't everywhere but Gemini. What? The full moon in Gemini. This card is a reminder that it's important to speak your truth, but remember that your words have consequences and impact your listener. Right now, you need to guard against indiscretion. The answers you need may well come soon. The issue you're facing could well be one or a few conversations away from being resolved. If you're inquiring about a love situation, a little more flirting could be called for. If you're in the middle of an argument, this card comes to you as a reminder of the old, very non-Gemini message. Least said, soonest mended. It's good to talk, but be careful you aren't causing yourself any issues with your words. Words have enormous power, as metaphysician Florence Scovel Shin, 1871 to 1940, put it. Your word is your wand. You create magic and your own reality every time you express yourself. Full moon and Gemini energies right there. But let's see what the tarot has to say. I hope you're all doing well. My accent is gone. Oh, I think. <clears throat> Ten of Wands, completion, time to lay it all on the line, put some stuff down now, so we can, oh great. Well, uh, some cards fell out here onto the floor. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. The Empress. The Fool. Queen of Swords. And the energy at the bottom of the deck. Well, wow. Nine of Swords. That's vampire energy. Sleepless nights. 
Worrying upon worrying upon worry. So <clears throat> here, after we have completion, time to lay down our burdens, time to rest. Gemini's full moon has energies have been hard on everybody, myself included. But the wheel of fortune is here. The wheel is going to turn. And if you lay down your burdens, it's it really is completion. Maybe that's telling your truth. Maybe that isn't. The Empress. Earth. Goddess energy. All four queens embodied into one, right? She's got goddess energy. And I love in this deck, she's got the stars as a crown around her head. It's so beautiful with that rabbit. And that rabbit says speaks of fertility. The fool. The new beginning. The new beginning after completion. Brand new cycle. The full moon is ending. We're going to have a new moon, new energies. The cycle is over. We need to let go of things and the full, during the full moon. And that's going to be speaking our truth. Queen of Swords, cutthroat. If you have something you need to say, now is the time to say it. But you need to go through all these swords one by one by one and decide if you really need to say something. Pull out that sword and say it. Don't stay stuck in this with all these burdens. Heal yourself. What this full moon is really saying is if you have a, a truth you need to speak, it's time to speak it. But if you think you've been talking too much maybe that action is for you you know only you know as we know I always like to get an action in action we can apply to the situation let me use the stack Three of Cups. So, let's see what action we can apply to the situation during the full moon. What can we do when speaking our truths? The end of any matter in abundance, perfection, cheerfulness, happy solution, Victory, fulfillment, relief, and recovery. This is the end of the darkness and the beginning of a whole new cycle now. Let it go with these full moon energies. And let's usher in the new energy of the fool. We need to recover now. Let's get another card from the Full Moon Oracle. Cardinal Moon, be bold and make the first move. Be bold and make the first move. Now is the time to be bold, bossy even. Take matters into your own hands. Cardinal signs are powerful and self-starting. They're determined and great at organizing. Drawing this card strongly suggests that you're going to need to be all those things to get your ideal resolution or position in the situation you're asking about. 
This card may challenge you on how strongly you really want something. If you're worrying about a situation, it is a suggestion to be less passive. Instead, take an assertive stance as you steer events where you want them to go. Speak up for what you want. If you're serious about sorting things out, you may need to take the lead in some way. Time to step up as a leader. Attuned to the moon, I am taking charge of my destiny. Let's take charge of our destinies this full moon. What are you afraid of right now? What do you need to put down? Write it down. Write it down and burn it. Burn it tonight in honor of the full moon in Gemini and let it go and usher in the energy of the fool. It's go time, baby. Thank you so much for joining me here today, everyone. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, my information will be down below. Take care.